With the recent announcement of Half-Life Alex, there's a whole lot more interest now in virtual reality than there was a few months ago. And with that, there's a little bit of confusion among new people interested in VR on what is a good system to use and what is a bad system. It's a little bit up in the air. The Valve Index is advertised as the best system and in a way it kind of is. The problem with that is it's a thousand dollars and beyond most people's budgets. There are cheaper options though. There's Windows Mixed Reality, there's the Oculus Rift S, and then there's the Oculus Quest, which you can use on a PC if you use a link cable, and it works similar to Rift S, but there is some compression and things, so for a PC experience, the Rift S is still better in some ways. Now the main concern with these is they don't use like base stations and outside sensors, they do all the tracking from the headset themselves. And if you haven't been following VR too much, you might think that's a bad thing. Um, it limits you in some ways, but it is completely playable on something like Half-Life Alex or any VR game, really. So I just want to show how those systems work. So I'm using right now an Oculus Rift S, and I also have a Windows Mixed Reality, and I'll show how those track. So this, this Rift S is $400 US. The Windows Mixed Reality, you can get a Samsung Odyssey Plus for about $230. So for this headset, this is a $400 headset. Um, it has two cameras on the front, two on the side, and one on the top. So how that works is it'll read the room and it'll place itself in the room. And that allows it to have um, full room scale tracking without any sort of external base stations. This is also how it tracks the controllers. So that's enough to play pretty much everything with accuracy. Uh, when the controllers are within the camera range, they're really accurate and um, the tracking is like sub-millimeter accuracy. And they can also track uh, pretty close to your headset as well. Um, now, if you need to like reach behind you or something, you can. It has a predictive algorithm, so it'll still track even um, beyond the camera sight. Um, as long as you have like some movement, so it has some uh, tracking data. And uh, it'll do the same thing with the room. And uh, yeah, so for a $400 headset, uh, no external sensors, and it tracks uh, pretty much good enough for any VR game. Now the Windows Mixed Reality um, only has two cameras, so it only sees to the front. Um, so its tracking range is about here, where it's accurate. But with the same thing with that, if you have some movement, it'll still track behind you. So um, both of those, like 250 or so, or 400, you get that sort of an accuracy. And um, I'll just show some more clips to kind of compare the two and show that uh, even though they are a cheaper solution than the uh, Index with its Steam VR Lighthouse tracking system, they still work good enough for games. And uh, Half-Life Alex, you'll uh, enjoy it if you play in one of these headsets. Also, if you're just now kind of looking into VR and you're wondering why I'm not mentioning like the ACC Vive or the Oculus Rift, both of those headsets have been discontinued and aren't sold in stores anymore. Um, on the Vive website, you can buy a like refurbished one at a discount, but there's no new ones being sold. And um, in the current generation, those headsets are about three years old now, and it does kind of show in the resolution. Um, pretty much every mainstream VR system now has a higher resolution than those did. So if you buy a new one, you will be getting a bit of a clearer and better experience buying like a new Rift S compared to like an older Rift um, or Vive.